Hello students, have you been asked to do a poster as part of your assignment so you don't know where to start? We've got multiple options. You can use PowerPoint to start your poster design or you can use Publisher, it's up to you. I would say Publisher is a little bit easier because it's specifically for posters and cards and stuff but you can do it in PowerPoint just as well. So this is a quick two videos on how to create a poster quickly within PowerPoint and then straight after in Publisher. So let's get stuck in. First thing we need to do is top left hand corner create a new slide and select blank presentation you can use a template there but I recommend blank presentation because with a poster you're going to need specific size when you open it up go to the very top and you need to go to design because we need to design whether it's a slide or poster whatever you're working with now come all the way to the right and select for me slide size now you've got standard sizes but pretty much most of the time you need a custom slide size so click on that. Now you can choose what you want. Now we've got slide size for widescreen. Or if you look at here actually, it gives you multiple options of different formats. You can even come to the bottom here and do a custom if you wish. Now what I recommend here is find the dimensions of what they're asking you for your poster. Because you might have to print it out as well on maybe A2 or different format. So open up your browser. Find the size you want here. We've got A1 down to A4. So you can actually put these parameters, dimensions, into your size in PowerPoint, and then you are good to go. You can convert it from centimeters to millimeters quite easily as well. On the right here, choose whether it's a portrait or landscape. So that's a landscape poster. And then you've got your handouts, which don't really matter because you probably won't give handouts for a poster, will you? It's just not a presentation. And click OK. Now it's asking you, you're scaling to a new slide size. Would you like to maximise the size of your content? Now remember with this, we haven't added anything yet, so there's nothing to size anyway. So I can just put Ensure Fit. Now you're ready to go. You've got your poster size. You're ready to start adding information. I'll do this quick because quite intuitive anyway once you get started but now you've got the main template to work with now what I like to do is come up the top here come along to view see these three options here tick ruler guidelines and guides if I come here to the left can you see here drag it up and down there's your guideline so you know exactly where you're on zero in the middle of the poster so you know exactly where you're working from and you can drag those guidelines up to a specific position that, that you want to work with. Same at the top there. Left or right. So really are useful to make sure you're in the centre when you're adding information. So drag that down. That won't show up in your final print, so don't worry about that. So you've probably used PowerPoint before, but let me show you quickly. You can go to Insert. Now we've already got notes in there, haven't we? Now I'm going to right-click and I'm getting rid of cut it's going to do a left click on the corner and cut so we've got nothing in there. Now you've got a blank poster to work with. On the insert tab, come along, add your own text box by holding the left button and dragging exactly where you want that. And then you can pop in a title. I just thought poster hell. It's a bit like Word actually because once you've done that you can highlight the text and look at the top here in the home tab. We could center it change the size and even change your fonts if you wish as well in there but that still looks a bit bland doesn't it so why don't we liven it up a bit come along to insert got an option here that says word art as well we can insert word art but what we want to do to shape format because when you highlight something it gives you the options appear at the top now we can play around with that so you might go actually click the little arrow down that grey might work for you, but really the field colour, you might need something different to pop out a little bit. And then you might go text outline, you might want like a black, and then text effect. Got loads in there, by the way, look, to play around with. So I'll just go for glow, shall we? So there we go. You've got your header to work with straight away. Now go to insert. Now you might want something specific with the header, actually. So if I go to shapes, I could add a rectangle. Hold the left button, create that round there at the top. So, you see how the guidelines help a lot there to know exactly where you are. 
Because see that's not center, so I'm going to bring that in. That's that will do. Now we can't see, can we, the right and header at the top. So let's do a right click and select center back. And there you go. You now really start editing, adding to your poster. I'll add one more. Go to insert. We had a a picture from the stock images, which I believe are royalty free. Just pop in health. I use that image and select insert. And then the corners, drag it down, put the position you want. And then if you want, remember when you click on something, I clicked on the image, look at the top and the ribbon it's changed. So I can play around with that action. I can maybe feather it a bit there. Or maybe a bit of a reflection. I think that looks cool, doesn't it? And also if you right click, you can even format the background. Now be careful with the format in the background. I mean it depends if you're paying for the ink or not. But let me just liven it up a little bit. Oh, that's better. And there you go. Now you're almost ready with adding the important information within your poster. So just remember the two things, insert text boxes to add your information wherever you want, and insert to insert your pictures. Or you might even want in your poster a chart. So you can create yourself a chart. So you might go need a pie chart and OK. Create your own pie chart in there, add your data down the bottom here. And then drag that exactly where you want it. And there you go, you've got yourself a poster. Next I'm going to be looking at doing it quickly within Publisher. See you in a minute. Now at the beginning at the top here, we got we got blank templates, A4 standard there, as you can see, portrait, landscape. You've also got loads of templates. If I come to the right, select more templates. Now I do recommend them actually, if you come here and look, design sets, because they're not copyright and they can get you up and running quickly if you just want to do something fast. But if you're a student and you need to design a poster, the templates are probably okay to start off with, but not really what you want. You're probably better off starting from scratch. Come back out in there for me. So those two options there might not be might not work for you. A4, you might want maybe an A5 or maybe an A3, A2. Come to the right, select show more again. Now select more blank pages. So this gives you loads more templates at the top. Now again, you've got to go over them and find which one that matches your criteria for your, your specific subject. But if you cannot find it, come here where it says create new page size. Now here you can quickly create a size for the poster. So I'm just going to put in there, test poster. And see underneath here, this is where you can choose your dimensions. I'm not great in converting, so you have to do in inches. It's easy enough to go on nine. I think it's two and a half centimeters to an inch, but you can work that out on the internet. Then you can choose your sack size here. So make sure you get that sack size because it has to be printed out sometimes. You need a precise size there. And by using this, you can set that. You can have your margin guides as you want, but I'd leave them as standard for the moment and just concentrate on width and height. Layout type, one page per sheet. Or it might be a booklet, email or envelope. As we're going on a poster, I'm going to put one page per sheet and select OK. Now on the right, we are good to go. You don't really have to worry about colour scheme for the moment because you can change it anyway. This is a template we can set up where you might want to use specific fonts and colours later on, but normally posters are one off, aren't they? So maybe we don't want to do that. Select create. And now we've got a blank canvas if you like to start with. Now you can do this in Microsoft Word, but it's much easier to move and manipulate your images and your text and stuff using Publisher. And as you can see, the tops pretty much looks like Microsoft Word. They're pretty similar. Now, where do we start? We're in the Home tab at the top. First thing you might do is select Draw Text Box. Before you do that, come down here. Can you see the ruler lines here? If I drag them, you can then drag them to position. I don't know if you can see that on there. But you can select you can select the width of your poster. You can create ruler lines to center it. Really good option actually, because that way you know exactly where the center of your poster is. Here and pull that down. And then you can work out the size of your poster and get your exact dimensions there with the top. And it's just a guideline, it won't show up in your final poster. So you know where you're putting stuff a little bit better. Now we're ready to go, you've basically got a template. It's an open canvas to use your imagination now. And we've got the top. Draw a text box, hold the left button, cut yourself a little header there. Normally you'll start with a header, wouldn't you? I'll just put my poster, I know it's not very original, I'm going to highlight it. 
Now, a bit like Word at the top here, a little bit different. You can align that. So I'm going to align that in the middle. You've got various options there where you want to put the text. Then I'm going to come up here, and I need that font a little bit bigger than I really. It's a bit small. Maybe a little bit larger, I think. I'll go to 48. Perfect. Tap off that. By the way, up there, you can change your fonts as well if you need be. Now, when I highlight it here, you might want to liven it up with a bit of word art. So if you click on here, you can quickly select that and liven it up a little bit. Easy to do, and you can start to build your poster. You might want to throw a few shapes in there. It's going to be a bit elaborate here, so you can see my design skills are absolutely atrocious. So there's one. Now, I might want to copy that because I might want to paste it over to the other side as well. And you can see if I try and line them up here, can you see the lines coming up? So you can line, you can line them up where you need them. There we go. I've made a start. Now you're looking at that, you might go, actually, I could do the picture. Well, let's select the picture tab. Now, if you've got your own files, pictures and that, upload them, not a problem, JPEG, PNG, whatever you need. But one, have a little search. So I'm just gonna put in happy. We need a bit of happiness, don't we, at the moment in the world. So I'm gonna pop in a little smiley, that would do. Tap on that, select insert. And that will now insert into my poster and I can position that. So you can't do that in Word. With Word Wrap, you've got to change all the settings. With this, you can just drag it into the position you want. Let's make that probably a little bit larger and pop it over there. And then I could come down the bottom with draw a text box again. And then I could add some, maybe some text down the bottom there. And again, any spelling errors, right click, the same as Word, and you can correct the spelling errors. In that case, it was more of a typing error. So there you go. You quickly pull together a poster, tap off that. You can come up the top here, you've got page design. Now, if you really want to work on specific colours, for example, we've got the guides here. So you've got built in ruler guides if you want to use them precisely. And that'll put the exact ruler line where you want it if you're having trouble putting them in. And also, there, if you want to change the size, come to size again here and come right down to the bottom. Choose page setup and you can even change your size that you've already created. But top right hand corner, go to background. There's loads of backgrounds there, by the way, if I bring them up. You could have a solid fill, gradient if you wish. Drag that to the position you want. And then you can choose present gradients. You can choose preset gradients. Click OK. And now you are ready to go. So that's just the basics, a quick overview of just getting you up and running on a template for a poster. Hope that helps.